Hello everyone. Now I will going to discuss one more results in the section analytical function. Uh, that is the fifth result because already I have mentioned the four results in the earlier video. So the fifth one is show that and the real and imaginary parts of show that the real and imaginary parts of imaginary parts of an analytic function. are both harmonic show that the real and imaginary parts of an analytical function are both harmonic so let them start with the solution we know let f is equal to u plus i v be an analytic function analytic function which implies all of you know Cauchy Riemann equation satisfies Vx is Vy and Uy is minus Vx. Correct? Now it is equation number 2. So, what is our aim? Our aim is we have an analytical function and we want to prove that U and V are harmonic. So, how we show this? So, take this section Ux is Vy. Correct? And differentiating 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 ux is equal to vy partially with respect to x what happened we get ux x is v x y mark it as formula number 2 and once again take this section and differentiating ui y ui equal to minus v x partially with respect to y what is we get u y y is minus v y x mark it as 2 all of you know v x y and v y x are same so when we add that equation number 2 sorry this is 3 add that equation number 2 plus 3 what's the, what, what's the result we are, here we get u x x plus u y y is v x y minus v y x both are cancelled the answer is 0. So that is why we get the real part of this analytical function is harmonic. Okay? In the same manner differentiating this one with respect to x and this one with respect to y on the reverse direction and add up these two in the same manner we get v x x plus v y is also 0. So, we get every real and imaginary parts of analytical function are harmonic okay after finishing it write a note write a note write a note let f of is equal to u plus iv be an analytic function then v is called the harmonic conjugate of u let f is equal to u plus iv be an analytical function then v is called the because all of you know u and v are harmonic and v is called the harmonic conjugate of u so next types of questions in your material is they given u or v they given sometimes they given u how to computing the harmonic conjugate v this is the next kind of questions they given the u how we can computing the harmonic conjugate v so right in the first problem there are two methods in your uh, uh, there are two ways to answer that question i'll discuss both in the same problem show that First number one show that u equal to x cube minus 3 x y square is harmonic and find its harmonic conjugate okay show that u is x cube minus 3 x y square is harmonic and find its harmonic conjugate 
So what's the way here? Write into the solution. The given u is x cube minus 3xy square. Okay. So what's first our aim is what? To verify this u is harmonic. So for that computing ux. Okay. And computing uxx. 6x. And computing uy. 6xy. And computing uyy also. 6x. So from these two, these two, what is the what what is we get we get which implies we get ux x plus u y y is zero. That's why this u is u is harmonic. Okay. So one more section left here is how we can computing the harmonic conjugate. All of you know u is to be given and that is to be harmonic. Then what is the harmonic conjugate of u? Let v be the harmonic conjugate of u. So write it. Let v be the harmonic conjugate of v be the harmonic conjugate of u. Let v be the harmonic conjugate of u. How we can compute the harmonic conjugate? There are two methods for finding the harmonic conjugates. By method one, I will discuss it. After that, I will discuss the method two. Okay. So how we can be doing the harmonic conjugate from this? So since write it by method one, since f is equal to u plus i v is analytic, all of you know what is that? V x is v y and u y is minus v x. Correct? Since f is equal to u plus i v is analytic, all of you know u x is v y and u y is minus v x. Okay? So what is here? U x u x is v y and we know ux is 3x square minus 3y square, correct? That's where we get vy is 3x square minus 3y square. Mark it as equation number 1. How will you get that? We know ux is vy and we know ux is 3x square minus 3y square. That's why vy is 3x square minus 3y square. The same manner, we know ui is minus vx and ui is minus 6xy, correct? That's why Vx is, what is Vx? Just minus Ui, that minus Ui is plus 6xy. Plus 6xy, it is the equation number 2. Okay, we get equation number 1 and 2. Okay, this is one of the method. Since you, we know function is analytical, we have Ux is Vy and Ui is minus Vx. From Ux is equal to Vy and Ux is this, we get this equation. From Ui is minus Vx and Ui is minus 6xy, we get this equation. Okay. So what is our aim? How we can get meeting V? Okay. So the way is some students are taking question number one, some others are taking question number two. No problem. You take it in, in your own way. So I'll take first one. I'll choose this. Some students are choosing two. No problem. Take equation number one and integrate it with respect to y. Take equation number one and integrate it with respect to y. Some students are taking equation number 2 instead of 1 and integrate that with respect to x. Okay. So here I will choose equation number 1 and integrate it with respect to y. We get what is v? We get v is 3y x square minus 3y cube by 3 plus plus when we integrating with respect to y, we get a constant that is a constant in term of x. Okay. So we get v is 3y x square minus y cube plus c of x. That is v is, we get v is 3y x square minus y cube plus what? c of x. This is your v, the harmonic conjugate v. But what is the condition? We want to know what is cx. Next our aim is how we can be doing the cx, okay? How we can be doing that? Here I will choose 1, okay? Some students are choosing 2. Here I will choose 1. But this is not, I will not choose this. So for getting the constant c of x, compare this equation with what? The unusable equation. Okay. So for that, for the comparison, just computing for mark it as equation number 3. For comparison, take equation number 3, take equation number 3 and okay, differentiate it, differentiate it partially with respect to, with respect to what? X. 
for comparing that with the second one x. So, we get vx is what is that 3y 6xy okay vx is 6xy minus plus c dash of x plus c dash of x c dash of x correct take equation number 3 and differentiate it partially with respect to x what is we get vx is 6xy plus c dash of x okay so we know from 2 we know vx is 6xy here we get from that from equation number 3 we get vx is what 6xy plus c dash of x by comparing this and that what is your c dash of x so in comparing these two we get c dash of x is what c dash of x is 0 that's why cx is constant cx is constant so we get the harmonic conjugate therefore we get the harmonic conjugate of this function harmonic conjugate of this function v is what v is 3 y x square minus y cube plus c okay so this is the way for computing the harmonic conjugate sometimes the question is they given you and check whether it is harmonic or not and find the corresponding analytical function that is the second kind of questions they given show that or show that u is harmonic and find its instead of harmonic conjugate find its uh, find the find the function if you say okay so it is very simple after getting u and v we know this is u and we know this is our v after this this after getting this u and v it is very simple to write f is what is f is all of you know f is is u plus iv correct so that is equal to what x cube minus 3xy square plus i into 3y x square minus y cube plus c this is the function okay this is another kind of question they even show that uh, given you and how to can be doing the harmonic conjugate v or how to can be doing the harmonic uh, our analytical function f is z if, if they given you okay so already told the beginning section there are two methods in your syllabus uh, not in syllabus there are uh, two methods for finding the harmonic conjugate that is one of them is uh, by this way i will discuss the other method by using uh, the same example okay another method is method two method two Method 2 is how we can computing the harmonic conjugate by using another way. Just listen here. Just listen here. Another way is Milne Thompson method. Milne Thompson method. This is the second method so the second method for kinding the harmonic conjugate is this is the direct way and this is why milne thompson method okay so in your examination you try to do either in that way or in this way no problem so in milne thompson method just uh, all of you just by heart this formula now i will discuss after that how we can get this formula okay so by milne thompson method f dash of z is this is the formula you by heart that ux is at 0 plus i into vx is at 0. This is the Milne Thompson method formula. I will discuss this formula later. Okay. By Milne Thompson method, if the, the derivative of the function is same as ux is at 0 plus i into vx is 0. All of you, all of you studied about the similar types of questions in the beginning section. All of you studied about the derivation of uh, kosher Riemann equations. In the derivation of kosher Riemann equations, this is just we see the same kinds of questions. So, same kinds of formula. Okay. F dash z is what? ux plus i vx. But here I include ux of z0 plus i into vx of z0. So, this is a formula of Milne Thompson method. Uh, there are, uh, so, uh, uh, since here in this problem they have given u, okay. So, there is a possibility of writing all the terms in terms of u or in terms of uv by using CR equations. We know ux is vy and uy is minus vx. So, that is why this, this formula is also same as ux is at 0 minus i into what is vx vx is minus ui ui is at 0 since how we convert it how i convert it all the terms are in terms of u only the reason that in this particular problem they given what u that's why i converted uh, all the terms of of this formula as in terms of u so listen here what is ux of z0 we know ux is 3x square minus y square that is this what is this ux it is ux of ux of what x y 
Then what about u of x, u x of z zero, just replacing x by z and y by zero here, what happened? u x of z zero, what is u x of z zero? Just replacing x by z and y by zero, it makes 3 z square minus zero, correct? So we get u x z zero is 3 z square. The same manner, they give one, u y is that one. What is u y? It is simply, it is u y of x y, correct? Then what about u y of z zero? Just replacing x by z and y by zero, it makes zero, correct? When we apply, when we, uh, next step is write ux of z0 and ui of z0 there, what happened here? Here is 3z square minus i into 0, just simply 3z square. So what is this? This is the derivative of your function. On integrating, on integrating, what? We get f z is what? z cube, correct? 3z cube by 3, 3 and 3 cancel, plus c. This is your function. So suppose your question is, Show that u is harmonic and find the function, your problem over here. We get the function. What is the function here? Is that q plus c. Suppose your question is, show that u is harmonic and find the harmonic conjugate, harmonic conjugate v. How are we computing that? All of you know, just separate the real and imaginary. Just separate the real and imaginary. What is that? x plus i y the whole q plus c, right? That is equal to what? x cube plus, yeah. 3i x square y plus 3x i square y square makes it is minus y square plus i cube is minus i y cube plus c, correct? x cube plus 3x i 3 i x square y minus 3x y square minus i y cube plus c. So on just separating the real and imaginary, what happened you? u is x cube minus 3x y square and v is the coefficient suffice is 3x square y minus y cube plus c, 3x square y minus y cube plus c, okay. So this is another method for finding the harmonic conjugate or the function that is Milne thompson method, okay. So now I will, uh, I'll already told that I will discuss how the way of obtaining the Milne thompson formula, now I will discuss that, how we can obtain this formula, okay. Listen here. So, so listen here, all of you know from the derivation of, from the derivation of cauchy riemann equations, we get a formula f dash of z is what ux of xy plus i into vx of xy, am I correct? We get a formula from the derivation. We know uh, how to derivate the cauchy riemann equations and the derivation of cauchy riemann equations, we get this is the first formula, f dash z is ux of xy plus i into vx of xy. Let us replace x by z plus z bar by 2, am I correct? No problem, because z is x plus iy, z is x minus iy, so x plus iy plus x minus iy makes 2x, 2x by 2 is x. And replacing y by what? z minus z bar by 2i, no doubt. All of you know, just x plus i y minus of x minus i y by 2 i is what? It is simply y. Just replacing x and y here. Okay? So that's make this formula f dash z is what? ux of z plus z bar by 2 comma z minus z bar by 2 i plus i into vx of z plus z bar by 2 and once again z minus z bar by 2 i. Okay? So, this formula is true for all complex entries. This is true for, this is true for all sets, correct? Hence, this is also true for all reals. For making reals, just replace the set by what? Set bar. There is no imaginary session there, okay? If you replace the set by z bar here, what happened? We get f dash of z is by using this formula, it is ux of z plus z by 2 makes z, z minus z bar by 2a makes 0 plus i into vx of z here is 0. This is the, this is the Milne thompson formula. f dash of z is ux of z0 plus i into vx of z0. Thank you all. Thank you for listening.